Hello and welcome to the orientation for English 1302. I am Professor Michael Morris. My office is at Eastfield College, room C264, and my phone number is 972-860-7247. However, you probably will not find me very often there because it's summer and I do not office there very often in the summer. The best way to reach me is through email at michaelmorris at dccd.edu. I usually answer my emails within 24 hours, maybe a little bit longer on the weekends. I do keep uh, office hours, not regularly, but by appointment Monday through Friday through a Teams link that is available to you on eCampus. Prior to talking about the course, I'd like to mention how you should look for technical help if you have a problem with anything on eCampus. At least before contacting me about the problem, you should make sure that you followed all directions, including making sure that an assignment is available at the right time. Um, before you also contact me, you should probably contact technical support who's more able to fix any problems that are technical in nature. Uh, I've provided here an, a web address and a phone number for you to do that, but those should be linked also on eCampus itself. Should you contact tech support, you should keep track of that communication so that if you need to prove that you had trouble with an assignment or you need to uh, show me the difficulty, uh, you can forward that information on to me, especially if it's something that can't be resolved right away. When you do write to me by email, uh, identify yourself clearly with your full name and be brief and precise about your problem. This way, if the problem is one I can resolve, I will more easily be able to identify it and make whatever changes are necessary, or if not, point you in the right direction. There are two textbooks for the course. The first is called The Act of Argument. It includes reading about the three main concepts of this course, argument, research, and documentation. They will correspond in some way with our assignments. It is also an ebook. It is not the active writer, which is a book for a different course. The other book for this class is called Cast, The Origins of Our Discontents by Isabel Wilkins. There are two sets of video lessons. One are office lessons, which are short micro lectures about the basic concepts of this course. The other is the Writer's Odyssey, which is a series of uh, lessons uh, brought to you by the same people who did the Writer's Circle, who some may be familiar with. Because this is an online course with assignments due, more than one assignment usually, do each day, it's important that you have a good working computer and consistent internet access. You should use a district email address which you can activate at the Dallas College website. Needs to be checked frequently as I try to communicate with, with the class and with students individually. All correspondence with the instructor should come from that address. Uh, because there are certain things that I cannot discuss uh, via personal email. It's helpful for you to use a strong dictionary and thesaurus and a student ID should you need to check out materials from the any of the Dallas College libraries. One of the most important parts of your course is the calendar. This is a schedule of your due dates for assignments and should let you know at least a few days in advance what you can read, uh, watch, and pay attention to so that you know what's coming up. 
you can when you click on the calendar in eCampus click on any one of the little rectangles to see information about your assignment at least in the first couple of weeks where to go and how to get there um, the syllabus does have some of the uh, important dates like certification and drop dates and stuff like that the calendar needs to be checked regularly uh, especially through the weekend or through the week just in case assignments are moved or shifted. Grades are broken down into three categories. 60% of the total grade is made up of four major essays, each worth a different percentage of the final grade. Process category includes things like journals, bibliographies, quizzes, discussion board threads uh, that are essentially part of building up towards each essay. There is also a comprehensive final exam. Each essay is worth, as I said before, a different percentage of your final grade. You have to follow the directions very carefully. I will note that most problems with essays come from failing to follow some element of the directions. Journals and bibliography assignments are part of building those papers together. They're kind of pre-writing or parts of the whole for these. Essays also have to adhere to the MLA format saved in Word and proofread carefully before submission. Quizzes cover any assigned reading and material that are found in the video lessons. Reading the quizzes include short answer questions as well as multiple choice, multiple answer, fill in the blank, and true false questions. These can only be taken once because they have to be graded by hand. Video lessons contain similar questions except without short answer questions and can be taken twice before the due date. Bibliographies are completed between the journals and the completion of the essays. They typically require students to write about where they are in the research process, usually uh, providing a working thesis statement and a list of sources that they have done for that paper. Discussion boards are open for a short window of time. Uh, in this course a few days at a time. Each discussion board assignment requires an original response to the prompt which has its own due date. Students are also required to reply to at least three different classmates before the second due date of the discussion board. Each post must be a solid developed paragraph and must be written in standard English class has one final exam which will be a comprehensive test covering the reading assignments and video lessons. The test contains multiple choice, multiple answer, fill in the blank, and true false questions. There will be a time limit for this exam. Students can earn extra credit in the process category for this class up to five times by working with tutors in the Writing Center. Uh, directions for this are in the extra credit section of eCampus. You can work with tutors online. However, I do recommend working face-to-face -face with them at least once if at all possible. In order to get the proper credit, you will have to provide documentation of your visit and that can be done in a variety of ways. As important as the calendar is, 
you should be checking more than just the grades in the course. You need to be reading the feedback. In order to do this, go to the My Grades section on eCampus. Assignments are listed mostly in the order they are assigned, though the running course average and other averages can be listed before that. In fact, the course average is typically the very top thing in your grade book so that you can see how you are doing in the class at any time. If you see an exclamation mark where a number should be, then this means the assignment has not yet been graded. If you click on the balloon in that section, you can read some general comments if they're available. However, to read detailed feedback, it's important to click on the link for the assignment on the side of the screen and then open that part up. Success in this course comes first from reading feedback very, very carefully and thoroughly, not just a little bit. It's important to format your work properly in order to keep getting that feedback. Get help if you need it through the Writing Center or through meeting with your professor virtually or via email. If an assignment, particularly an essay assignment, has more than five errors that shouldn't appear in this level of writing, it may be returned for feedback. If you have problems with grammar, punctuation, or other elements of writing like this, it is important to work with somebody to help you build those skills. It's of course important to check your calendar and the email regularly for any changes uh, to assignments or things that are noted about uh, assignments that the class has worked on. It is important to not do classwork on your phone, even a discussion board. Do not expect to turn in work late because it is not likely to be accepted. Do not cheat. Participate in your own learning and consult the syllabus. This is a very quick semester, but I do hope that you will find the opportunities for learning uh, valuable to you and that you will have an, a very good semester.